Alright, and welcome back to Mordheim, friends. So for those of you who've been following every video I've uploaded, you will hopefully notice a bit of a change in the audio here. This is hopefully sounding better. It's the first episode I've been able to record since doing some upgrades to my audio. I finally uh, started soundproofing the room that I'm in. And I'm using some audio software, so hopefully it sounds better. Anyway, so the last mission was a roughie. But I think now we need to focus on meeting this next shipment request. So we need 292 weight, which is quite a lot. Uh, hmm, yeah. What missions are available? So we could do a bridge on the river stir. But as one of you pointed out in the comments, once you do the fourth act one mission, then all the missions you go on take a step up in difficulty. Which is good and bad. It's, it's good because most of the enemies you fight will have purple weapons. Because if you kill those enemies, you then get the purple weapons. But the downside is all the enemies have purple weapons, so it becomes a hell of a lot harder. I mean, so Stobby is almost level 10. I mean, Mizuma is level 10. And we've got Dwarf and Blues and Maynard are 8 and 9 respectively. These warriors are... 9, 7, and 5. Wow, Alex. Level 9 and no injuries. Awesome. I'm thinking that I want to have 5 offense points on all of my warriors before we go on those missions. So they can at least attack twice with something big like a halberd. I'll take a quick look at all the armor we've got here. Yeah, there's plenty of blues, plenty of purples. I am liking the courage, uh, terror, and fear numbers that we've got. Looking pretty good. I would love to get my hands on some purple clothing. And also, I still haven't given Seb bloody a void. Or sidestep, sorry, so that he can dodge twice in a turn. Which is a crazy oversight. So as soon as we get enough money, that's one of the first priorities, training-wise. Okay, so a very poor... nope. Brutal, good. One warband exploring buildings, one deploys tightly. That's pretty tempting. The other one's rubbish. Deadly is quite scary. Hard and average. Brutal and average. Yeah, we'll do this one then. Hopefully we are the guys caught exploring buildings. Because I do find that that actually makes it easier to hoover up some wordstone. Exploring one of the city's old residential districts. Oh, bloody hell. Skaven! Aren't alone. Another warband is looting the nearby buildings. Dispersed in the ruins, the scavengers present an inviting target for your warriors as they deploy near your wagon. So it just occurs to me that once we do the next story mission and we bump up the difficulty of the mission, for a little while after that then, we should take, you know, just normal and easy missions until we can get more purple weapons and armor on everybody. I think it would be a huge mistake if we do that mission, bump up the difficulty, and then keep doing deadly and hard missions. I was really hoping to have all the wordstone gathered up, but no. So what's most likely to happen here? The Skaven will... they're all clustered, so they're gonna head probably directly north. Damn, I want the wordstone, but I feel like trying to suck up all the wordstone would be a mistake. Oh, this map is tiny as well. We we are going to be fighting probably on the next turn. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's take the fight in these little alleyways here. Mostly because I'm hoping I can get my archers up onto this balcony here. My fight is here. Uh, hiding next to the doorways to nullify the ranged advantage, uh, movement advantage that the Skaven get with their 8, eight meters movement skill. So we need our slower guys up front and our faster guys at the back. And archers on this side of the map because they are going to go through the buildings and up the buildings and up and hopefully get into the balcony area. So you go there and Alex Nestor of there. Good lord, look at the initiative values.
And it's a Skaven for you. The ones with 85 and 80 initiative will be the little young bloods. I hate just sitting around waiting for them to take their turn, knowing that these little rats are scurrying around the map. I think a slow and steady approach is going to be the best way to do this. Keep everyone grouped up. Particularly because if we take our time, hell, I could even run up that, uh, up those stairs there with the entire team and just avoid fighting the the rats as for as long as possible and hope that they will pick up all the wordstone and basically bring it to us. I don't know if, if I've ever actually tried that, uh, that tactic. I mean, these things are so fast, they're probably all over here already, so we've got no chance of grabbing any of this wordstone. What the hell, let's do it that way. Let's put our archers up here. And all of our melee fighters around here ambushing. I feel like it's pretty unlikely that the rats are going to go... Let's see that. They're going to jump up here and hit my archers from behind. Do I dare run in there? With Fei Long? I think I do. Yeah, because that door's closed there. Okay, boys, ambush time. Yeah, and if we put the frontline fights along there, then we should have vision and range with my archers up on that little balcony there and up there. On the plus side, only 135 combat strength on the rats. So Zimba's Liar is a melee fighter, so whoa, it's purple, but it's Great Ulrich, and I think uh, on the mercenaries, can any of them use the Great Ulrich? Yes, there's the, oh, look at that word stone. I forget what they're called, it's those wolf priest guys. They can use the Great Ulrich. But we're nowhere close to getting the Wolf Priests. It is so tempting to go for that Wordstone now. But that would be a mistake. Maybe on the next turn we can sneak in there as a group together and grab that wordstone, but I'm planning on having my archers up on that balcony. So they should still have range through from that balcony down this anyway. Where do I put Mizuma? That is the big question. I think that little balcony up there is the place to put him. It'll give him vision of this side here on the right and down this alleyway. Or straight up here, I wonder? No. Can I get up there even higher? How do you get up there? Oh, from the other side. I've got to go around. Like so. Actually, I think this is... Mm, is that better? That's fine.
So Meinhard, you can stay here. Then here's our third archer. I think I want him up here, or next to Mizup. Yeah, I think these little two balconies here is a perfect spot to put my archers. And then we just hunker down. Still no sight of the enemy at all. Oh, there you go. Who's that? Kalbear's Shadow Killer. Not one of the marked lads. So as I suspected, going for those bits of words down there would have been a mistake. We would have got caught out. There is always a chance that if someone on the front line gets wounded, if they can disengage and then run around here and try to suck up that word stone. That could be good. Dwarf and Blues. suppose I should go pick up or loot that, that treasure over there. And honor. I just want to check here. That, yes, you can't get through this building. So that little, so basically this doorway here is a secure entrance. I think we can assume all the fighting is going to happen in this little alleyway here. Which I'm completely fine with. Because it's right under vision of my archers. So what are the chances we get hit from this flank? Not that big. Oh, damn it. That sucks. <laughs> Those poison globideers are a freaking nightmare. Especially because of the way I, I my, my tactics, I like to group up. Ow. There he is. Shit, okay, hmm. I'm not going to block this doorway. Because I want him to come through here, on or to hit him, and then one more person can squeeze in up there and hopefully hit him as well. Like Dalmar. He can see me from there, so I'm going to back off a bit. And then Stobby will hold here with all the lads. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Has started. This is gonna hurt. These rats are so fast. Snicked sharp to whisker. He is not one of the marked. 87, miss. Unlucky. Yes, keep standing there, right in vision of my archers, you fool! He's their leader, so I want to kill him as soon as I can. The leader and the Globadier are my number one kill them, kill them fast targets. You really got to fight against the rats a little bit differently than you would otherwise, and I've learned that the hard way, given their initiative being so high. What's happened a bunch of times is I'll have an ambush like this, which is all good to go, and I'm feeling good about the ambush, but then because of the initiative, they will get to go first, so they will, one of their targets will break the ambush, you'll get an attack off, which you probably miss, then they get to attack you, then the next turn starts and they get to attack first, so, and, uh, an enemy rat will typically get two whole rounds of full attacks on you, before you can do anything about it. Is that... Azar Neth Stab. He's not one of the marked. He jumps down. 
That's fine. Just, just don't throw poison. I fucking hate the poison so much. It's good for me. Warp Globe, I think it changes your base stats. Now, given where these guys are standing, we're going to take all of our shots with our archers, and then we'll move in. Because moving in is going to give us a chance to pick up that, that, those wordstone over there as well. Owie. So each quick pull, I think he's marked. Owie. Yes, okay, good. Good, good, good. Right, so. Make with the Curse of Rust. Yes, because he has 20% armor. What is his magic resistance? 17%. Go for it. Rolls a 98. Perfect. Just more time RNG. So I've got four attacks here. Let's get them. Nice damage, Seb. A 99. <laughs> you gotta laugh. I feel like you have to have a sense of humor if you're gonna play more time, because the RNG is just so jank. <laughs> you have to take a, a philosophical view of it, and you can't get that annoyed with it, because otherwise you'll just go berserk and get so angry. He has the big round, Mizuma. I want to see if Mizuma can shoot their Globadier twice. I'm so keen to see what he can do with a level 2 sniper shot. You know, as I should mention, I'm coming down with a bit of a cold. It's just that traveler's cold, typically since coming back from my holiday. My sinuses are a mess. So 95%, what's the crit chance? Uh, uh, critical hit chance, 19. 19% critical. Uh, that's pretty good. Actually, no, 19 is really good, now that I think about it. So he did, what, almost 150 points of damage there. That was awesome. Well done. When I give him level 2 reload, he would have gotten another reload in there. Minehard. Vital shot. Onto... Nurk Creep. 50 damage. Good. I like how the accuracy is up at 95, even without having to use aim. And look, he's got plenty of uh, strategy points left over. I should think about maybe giving uh, another buff to some of my archers. If they're going to use bows like that, I think they are going to consistently have strategy points left over. Can maybe give combat savvy to one of the guys on the front line. Oh, thank goodness that failed. Enshrouding Mists is the one that gives increased ranged resistance. Which would have sucked for us. Sorcerer's Curse reduces armor and it reduces dodge and parry chance. Oh, and I need to give Mizuma the ranged skill that gives you increased armor absorption bypass, or armor bypass. But can I get that Globadier in range? I can! Alright, Dolphin Blues, this is all you, 95%. Fucking get wrecked, mate. I love my marksmen, they are so good. Ow! So the strength of these marksmen is the one thing that's gotten me thinking about with my um, with my rat warband. It's got me considering potentially making my young bloods, the young blood rats, 
What are they called? They're not called gun gloves, they're called something else. Anyway. Night runners. Night runners. <laughs> Making them ranged fighters. And just because they've got the they've got the offense points. And the warp lock pistols are actually pretty good, I think. And they tend to have very low hit points. I mean, if you can get three warp lock pistol shots off with a uh, with a, a night runner, you've got three stacks lowering melee and range defense, and you've got good damage. I might try it, but um, hell, we're not even into Act Two yet, and I'm already thinking about my next warband. I might have two warbands on the go, but then it's just a choice of whether I want to do chaos or. Or the rats. Oh, I'm leaning towards chaos. The thing about the chaos is they don't really have ranged fighters. I know they're little. Uh, what are they called again? The supplicant type guys. That they get extra uh, damage on a ranged shot, ranged ambush shot. But they're not. Uh, they're, they're not heroes, so they would only ever have five offense points. If I'm gonna have any ranged fighter with uh, chaos, it'll be just those straight mutants. But then you gotta buy one that's level seven and that doesn't have mutations that preclude it from using ranged weapons, because the the bloody mutants will mutate their arms into like an axe or something, and they can't use ranged weapons. That annoyed the crap out of me once. I had a guy who was leveling as a ranged fighter, and then he went and warped his arms. Good parry, so that he couldn't use his his uh, his bow. So at the very least, I want to get the secondary objective done here. Which shouldn't be too hard. We've already killed that Globadier. I'm just going to pick up his trinket and then this little... Which one is it? It is a... Warp Guard Rat. He's already almost dead. So we've almost already done the secondary objective. We've just got to make sure none of our guys go down. Squire's no wait, jaw strike would have been, would have been good if he wasn't on three hit points. Go on, Seb, double kill maybe. I think forty six damage is respectful respectable for a, a one handed weapon. Objective completed. Objectives up first and foremost. Let's just make sure we get this story mission. Whoopsie, wrong one. Almost everyone's inventories are full. I think I was planning on doing that story mission next. No creep. Where is his trinket? Oh, I think it was picked up by this other rat, the the leader, probably this dude. Snicked sharp whisker. You fucking bastard. Now this dude here is our next priority. Kill him fast, kill him hard. Very disappointing words don't haul on this mission, but quite often when you're fighting against the rats, that's kind of secondary. Your lads can get swarmed and killed so fast. Open wounds, damn. Someone here is carrying... Actually, I can run down. I can pick up that poultice. There was a poultice on the ground there. Probably one, maybe two more rats to go down and then morale will break. So I should maybe think about running someone off to that flank over there, the western flank, to go pick up some wordstone. Well, there's wordstone right over there for me. Oof, Jesus... 
Black Skaven. Scary. Critical hit chance, 21%. It's nice and high. Oh, yes! Nice crit. Mizuma. Mizuma beast. This should be an auto hit because he's knocked down, but you know what? Let's go for the regular aim shot first, just in case that doesn't apply to ranged. A ranged hit chance, 95. Okay, yeah, so the auto hit doesn't apply on ranged weapons. 39% crit chance. Awesome. I've got so many strategy points, I want to see if I can't pick up uh, something here. Oh god. Oh, that's a whole bit that hits hard. Come on the war pigs. It was... N yeah, that's what I wanted. N creep. Bugmans is always welcome. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, plus parry chance. They're all just pretty cheap blue weapons. Objective completed. Who can I get to go pick up that words down there? I think, uh, yeah. Actually, I gotta be careful here. See, I always forget about these Mordheim maps. Give me the. Oh, damn. Ow! I'm actually not going to counterattack because then he'll just get another attack. I'm going to parry instead. Right, Mr. Alex Nesterov. Okay, another wordstone shot. Good. Excellent. Three wood, so three shards and one cluster. It's okay, but if I'm gonna make the uh, delivery request, I'm gonna need a lot more. Oh, there. Speaking of words, don't. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll pick up the Mordheim map. Oh shit! Hang on, I can't do that, can I? Damn. All right, someone else can grab that. Nice hit! And of course he gets the crit back. Uh. Go on, Stobby, get him. I am fucking this rat up. Let's hope Seb doesn't uh, fail his all alone check. 33% chance to hit. <laughs> oh. Alex Nesterov, not looking good. That's so typical that that uh, Black Skaven hit his retaliation with 12% crit chance and got the crit. And now he's going to finish off uh, Alex Nesterov. Yeah. 
so fucking typical. Oh come on! Eight percent, and he gets the he, he gets the the crit for eight percent. He's gotten a twelve and an eight percent. And a 67% all alone fail. Alright, okay, fine. Uh. Eight damage, ouch. Okay, so who I need to finish this as quick as I can. Who's lowest? Little Jinto half here. Uh, let's see. Uh, here are Black Skaven. Open wounds. Yes, there is an open wounds there. But now, if I want to go. Okay, actually, I can't go to dodge, but that's fine. Because, I mean, the other person can't dodge either, so. And 20% <laughs> dodge route check success. Okay, so 8% crit success. 12% crit success. 67% all alone check. We fail. 20% morale check. They succeed. Am I the unluckiest Mordheim player in the world? I have a feeling I might be. I kind of get the feeling that uh, the RNG scales and becomes more and more bullshit when it senses that you're about to win, like if it sees that the enemy is getting low, it just fucks you over more and more and more and more. <coughs> Good damage. Right, where are we? Go finish off that nerd. Nerd rat. And then go pick up that word stone, because now their morale should be checking again. Two thirty ninety five. I mean, I can't reach that word stone this turn, so I might as well stay here. I can't get into range uh, of any word stone or anything, so I'm not going to bother with that. Well, I could have jumped up here. Yeah, that was a mistake. Still. Their morale's gonna break on the next turn. Surely. They're not gonna succeed. Another morale roll less than 20%. There's no way. Pretty sure I can get that word stone. I 
suppose I should have checked if I had a poultice and I maybe could have used the poultice on someone, but... Fuck it. So looking at how hard Stobby is to hit here with his uh, melee defense, it makes me think about the, the eternal debate in Mordheim between what's better. Uh, dodge a new round has started or parry I think you can, you can get dodge numbers up higher before you can or it's easier to get the dodge numbers up than it is to get parry numbers up so they become more relevant earlier on but I think when like if you look at the champions and the, the, the leaders he they can be become better in the late game in a pie shop. he may even send a bit of gold by way of gratitude by just being straight up hard to hit. So th that's something I might think about at some point with a warband. Give everybody who can use uh, one hand weapon and shield. Give them all shield expert, max weapon skill. Just make them as hard to hit as possible. Outstanding. Amnesia, that sucks. But he got, okay, so it's plus three XP. Remarkable. Another purple luck trinket, that's good. Formula of Dexterity, that could be quite nice. Damn, only 37 weight of Wordstone. Uh, let's see, anything we can't use, just sell immediately. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be very hard to keep... Okay, we're good. Nice. I was going to say, it's going to be hard to keep paying everybody while collecting this wordstone, but then we just got paid for a shipment. Alright, so Seb. Long overdue to give him uh, the dodgy skill. See leadership nine, might as well. Ac wait a second. Yeah, accuracy, nice. That is long overdue. I might have to hang on to that cash actually. I don't think we have any more. Okay, I've got one more shipment that's en route, so that's good. I could probably get away with uh, training one more person in another skill. Flash parry, nerves of steel, web of, web of steel. I feel like he might be another good candidate to get quick incision. Righto. Oh, look at that, 20 out of 20 leadership. Amazing. Wait, I think I need 12 accuracy for some level 2 skill. I'm not sure which one it is, but I think there is one that I want. So with the Warlocks, I do realize that I can only get a maximum of 9 uh, melee skill, which is pretty terrible, but... You just put the rest of the points into accuracy, and every time I've given a Warlock uh, ranged or ballistic skill, then I find them using their offensive points for attacking rather than casting spells. And it feels like 10 out of 10 times, I'd rather have them spending those points casting spells than attacking. Uh, we'll be doing that for sure. Brutal, good. Both warbands deployed tightly. I need a good wordstone mission on this next one. 
Okay, friends, so that was a decent mission. No one got permanently injured, so I suppose I should be happy with that. But uh, a real run of horrible luck towards the end there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.